Hi guys. Today we will analyze Skechers stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock is a bad performer in the overall market, and both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. Strong support level is around $35. Next strong support level is around $30. Resistance levels are around $39 and $42.50. Next resistance levels are around $45.10 and $48. In the last month the stock has been trading between $34.80 and $42 range. It is currently trading in the middle of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 1.4 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since August 2021. Be careful. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 13% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 6% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 43% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Skechers company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Skechers will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 4%. Future profit margin would be low, 4%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 30%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $10. Second scenario. Skechers will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 6%. Future profit margin would be average, 6%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 40%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $20. Third scenario. Skechers will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 8%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 50%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $35. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 4.85. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Skechers, analysts forecast growth rate around 10% per year in next 5 years, and future P.E. around 13. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Skechers company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Skechers will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 4%. Future P.E. would be low, 8. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $23. Second scenario. Skechers will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 6%. Future P.E. would be average, 
10. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $35. Third scenario. Sketchers will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future PE would be high, 12. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $49. As you can see, today the stock is fairly valued, $37, if we expect the company's high performance in future. Both the profitability and the financial health of Skechers are good. And the company is expected to show a medium growth in the next 5 years. And the stock looks fairly valued at the moment. The stock has been in a downward trend since August 2021. And it can go lower, before it recovers. So, it may be a good idea to wait for signs of reversal before considering an entry. Company Strengths Skechers USA is an American footwear company. It designs, develops, markets, and distributes footwear for men, women, and children, and performance footwear for men and women worldwide. Skechers is the third largest footwear brand in the world. Overseas demand has been strong for Skechers. For example, in China, sales have been growing at staggering rates. So, the international business still has room for growth. Skechers will continue to develop innovative products and expand over time through new store openings and international distribution agreements. Skechers' margins have been expanding consistently. Combination between direct-to-customers and international business is likely to further expand margins. Skechers' return on assets of 12% and return on equity of 23% are amongst the best of the industry. Its profit margin of 11% is amongst the best of the industry. Based on estimates for the next 5 years, the company will show a medium growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 10 to 12% on average per year. In the coming 5 years, the earning per share will grow by 12 to 15% yearly. Risks The company will face manufacturing bottlenecks, higher freight costs, and shipping delays that will weigh on revenue over the next several quarters. The company's results depend on overall economic conditions, and soft consumer spending and changing fashion trends could lead to lower than expected revenue and earnings. The company also faces intense competition, and its efforts to boost brand awareness and offer better merchandise could fall short of expectations. In addition, Skechers faces execution risks in maintaining proper inventory levels, as well as customer concentration risks, as its five largest customers have accounted for 15% to 18% of sales over the past three years. The company also faces legal risks, as Nike is currently suing Skechers for patent infringement, alleging that it copied and benefited from two Nike designs. Lagging Digital Presence Penetration Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.